What is up, everybody? So, the camera's crooked. So, down here, getting ready for a guide trip this morning. I want to talk real quick. Uh, several weeks ago, I posted some pictures of a new Sea Arc boat, the Sea Arc Pro Guide. I've had a ton of questions from everybody about this boat, what it is, what it's for, what I think about it, all that sort of fun stuff, and I'm going to cover all of that in today's video. So several weeks ago, I went to Arkansas, got together with a bunch of the other Sea Arc Pro staff. They had a bunch of new boat models and some old models there as well. And we got all these boats out on the water for photo shoots and video shoots for the 2021 product release and catalog and all that fun stuff. They had the Sea Arc Pro Guide there and I was able to spend an extended period of time out running this boat, putting it through its paces with Ryan Casey, a uh, guide out of Missouri, Show Me Catfish and Guide Service. We got to really run this boat hard for a long time, do a lot of different things with it. I'm going to tell you all about it. So I'm super pumped up about this boat because I've been trying to get Sea Arc to build this exact boat for about six years now, and it's finally done. Now the boat that I'm going to show you in these pictures and videos, this is, this is the first one to roll off the line. So typically what happens is they build the first boat, they get it out there, they get some feedback uh, from the pro staff and everybody, and then they go back and make a few little tweaks and changes. So the final production model may be a little bit different than what you're seeing here, but the guts of it are basically going to be the same boat. Now, I want you to keep one thing in mind as I go through this, is this was meant to be a multi-species guide boat, not a catfish-specific boat. Now, it has everything that you need to be a catfish boat and would be an excellent catfish-only boat, but it was really designed to kind of fit that niche of guides needing a bigger boat with lots of seating, lots of workspace, some commercial features, and flexible seating throughout the boat. So let's look around. Now this boat is 26 foot long. Uh, this hull is a new hull, um, a little bit different than the Procat. It's still that same 15 degree hull as the Procat, but like the Sea Art Dynasty, it's got a little bit higher sides up the end. This boat also has the reverse chine, just like the Sea Art Dynasty as well. If you look down the sides of it here, you can see that reverse chine. Now the interior of this boat is very similar to the Procat, especially from the consoles forward. You'll see some changes here to the consoles. These are all aluminum, very similar to the consoles that you see in the Sea Arc Dynasty. Now this boat is gonna come standard with two seats, the driver and passenger seat, and then you have the option to add four additional seats behind those for six total. A lot of the reason behind that is to allow specific configuration for individual guides, because a lot of guides are probably gonna take this boat and put portable pedestals in it that they can move around, especially for striper guides or crappie guides or anything like that, which will allow them to adjust the configuration of this boat to their specific needs based on season or the species that they're targeting. Now, from the consoles forward, this boat is almost exactly like a ProCat 240, other than those higher sides. Uh, again, this is a little bit higher side with that reverse chine, like the Dynasty. But other than that, you've got basically the same distance and configuration that you would find on a ProCat 240 from the consoles up. And that gives you space not only for storage, but space for fishing with anglers that don't have real solid footing. You've got a 100 gallon live well in the back. The addition of those higher sides increases that capacity of that real live well from 80 to 100 gallons. Now to the performance, I was really expecting this boat to be kind of like a school bus. Uh, I was kind of expecting it to not turn real well. I thought it was gonna be a little bit slow but the performance of this boat really blew me away. And uh, Ryan and I just couldn't get over how well this boat performed. 
It was outfitted with a 300 Suzuki outboard, and we consistently ran 55 miles an hour. It didn't matter. We were going upwind, downwind, uh, windshield open, closed, live well full or empty, you name it. It consistently ran 55 miles an hour with no problems at all whatsoever. And there was actually a couple times where we hit 57 with it. Uh, again, that was an empty boat, about a quarter tank of gas, live well full. Um, but the performance and handling of this thing was just unbelievable. So that's it. The 2021 Sea Arc Pro Guide. I'll put a link down below to the Sea Arc website where you can get more information on this and any of the other Sea Arc boat models. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button hit that bell notification icon and smash that subscribe button get subscribed to catfish edge on youtube i'll be back on the water next week and i've got a really really big surprise uh, something that i have wanted for 25 years is supposed to happen here in the next couple of days super excited about it hopefully everything goes through correctly and I can get out on the water next week and talk a little bit more about what's going on. See you next time.